clear for us. You're not Arab. If I'm Arab or not? You're an Assyrian. Okay, what are you doing? I'm, I'm Saxon. He's Berber. None of us are Arabs. And the Arabs have got us all arguing about their religion. What am I reading? The one you highlighted already. So. Okay. Right, so this is not about Islam. Let's be clear. Right? Then the angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit yourself to her authority. Moreover, the angel of the Lord said to her, I will greatly multiply your descendants so that they will be too many to count. The angel of the Lord said to her, Behold, you are with child and you will bear a son, and you shall call his name Ismael, because Yahweh has given heed to your affliction. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone, and everyone's hand will be against him, and he will live to the east of all the brothers. Then, have I read enough? Where's Islam in that? Oh, He's not, not even born here, of course there's no No, that's not Islam. There's not even Muhammad or Islam or even Jesus. Exactly. It's talking about the nation of Ismail. Yeah, it's talking about the nation of Ismail, it's not talking about Islam. The strength, the strength of the Arabs in the 7th century came from their numbers. They had a popul yes, they had a population explosion in the 7th century and that's what allowed them to conquer and dominate such a great vast of land. Different civilizations at different times have had population explosions. The British did it just before our empire did it. The Romans did it just before their empire. The Persians did it just before their empire. The Arabs did it just before their empire. I don't believe it's numbers though, because they were always had... Okay, had for me, numbers. the way I see it, God They also already, had superior tactics. The way I see it from the Old Testament, God already set up a plan to be a big, a blessed, a great nation for Israel. Yes. And this nation must be if you're gonna deny this nation that it should that do you accept there are Arab Christians? Of course a lot. Right. So my point to you is my point to you is that Islam has nothing to do with whether the Arabs are blessed then. Because there are Arabs who receive the blessing promised here who are not Muslim. So that means the blessing promised here is about their Arabness, not their religion. What make the Jewish blessed? It's because God come to them and yes. they become blessed. Right. And the same thing to Arab. So what make Arab a great big, big nation blessed? Because they used to be nothing. But that's nothing. got nothing to do with Islam. Arab, they used to be nothing. What make him blessed and big and great nation? And it's because of Islam. If Islam did not come to them, it would be I mean, really, when the oil runs out, the Arabs will be nothing again. The only thing that's keeping their economies afloat is oil at the so moment. Why would God? And you're not Arab. Why would, God, why would God bless Arab? Are you Arab? Arab or Syria. Syrian. So you, there they go. So you're not even a, you're not even Arab. You're Assyrian. You see, Assyrian, yeah. this is Arabization. You actually have your own ethnicity with your own language and your own religion, and the Arab Muslims came and destroyed it. And you've forgotten, and you think you're an Arab. The Assyrian people have something to be proud of their own culture. The Berbers have something to be proud of, their own culture, and Islam destroyed them both. You should be proud to be Assyrian, not proud to be Arab. The Assyrian people are proud, but you know who are the true keepers of Assyrian culture? The Assyrian Christians. And maybe you should go and join the Assyrian church, my friend, because that's where you belong. That is where you belong, in the Assyrian church. Anyway, now, 30% of Syria the are... Berber church for you. We have no one. There is a Berber church in the Khyber Mountains. Or is it Kabil Mountains? The mountains uh, in Algeria. Algeria. I know you're in Tunisia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is they from Algeria or from Morocco? Tunis. Tunis. Ah, Tunis. There is no Christian people in Tunis at all. Yeah? So. There are Christians in Tunis. Yeah, very few, very few. But, um, growing, bro. Growing. No. Growing. It's growing. <laughs> no. Yeah, anyway. they say that in Algeria, it's still growing there too. It's growing in Saudi Arabia. Who's, who's making the numbers? Yeah. Anyway, for me, the way I see it, yeah. the last thing I would say, that God, he set up already a plan. That's why not, we're not really following Jesus directly now. He set a plan, he put a line between us. Yeah. That we're going to be a great nation and we must have a leader. Leadership or a messenger so we can be a great nation. This mentioned in the Old Testament. No, it doesn't say That's that. That's why he differs us from... No, it did not say that. No, I'm sorry. It did not say anywhere that God would send prophets to the Ishmaelites. Okay, how are we going to make a great, big, blessed nation Show me. without 
How show are you going to send his Show me. I challenge you, Firaz, because this is what I'm trying to say to you, and I mean this in love. You're reading something into the Bible that isn't there. Show me where God says, I will send a prophet to the Ishmaelites. Okay, not prophet. If he said, I will make a blessed great nation. Yes. How are you going to send this? Word because he sent them? them kings that made them a mighty kingdom. And that kingdom, happens, the Ishmaelites. And it's finished. And it's over. And this bless is finished. No, the, the Arabs also had another blessing. The other blessing was that the, the Ishmaelites would be numerous as the stars. And that's what happened in the seventh century. It's got nothing to do with Islam. And it's finished now. There is no, well, the, 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 even that, I mean, the, the blessing of the Arabs is that they are still numerous. I think the yeah. blessing of the Arab, because they are- Can we be clear for us? You're not Arab. If I'm Arab or not? You're an Assyrian. Okay, what are you doing? I'm, I'm Saxon. He's Berber. None of us are Arabs. And the Arabs have got us all arguing about their religion. Right? Anyway, Stop. This is the only thing. Be, bro. I, I see, as I said, I think God Shiraz, put the plan Shiraz, us. Be the proud of your Assyrian identity. I'm proud. And your Assyrian identity has its own language. Syriac is the language of the Syrian people. And it has its own religion. Christianity is the religion of the Syrian people. This is, this is the, this is, focus on me, Firas, Firas. Focus on me, yeah. Like we, we I excluded the atheist guy. Focusing on me. So, so the fact is, this is your identity. Yeah? And the Berbers were Christian before Arabization. Yeah. There's so many subjects, but show me. Why do you think the Quran is? It does. Show me in my Bible where God says He's sending prophets to the Ishmaelites. I'm gonna read it again, probably. We haven't read okay. the Old Testament before, and I'll get back to you because right. I've seen other verses God said mention clearly. But do, do you know? Do you know in the Quran it says that the gift of prophecy was given to the house of Israel? Uh, I that. The, the, the prophets were sent to the house of Israel. Prophets were sent, yes. 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 Up until Muhammad's coming, name me a prophet in that period of time that went somewhere else. No, uh, no, so, sorry, uh, uh, Salah. So who's he, sorry? Salah, uh, the one of Ad. Uh, are you talking about Jonah? No. no Isaiah 42, verse 11. 11. Okay, right, but, no, no, wait, was that before? So, the, so this is a prophet that we wouldn't recognize. I don't think no. It's not yeah, well, this is not a prophet we would recognize. No. We, we we know of only we know of only we only know of one Old Testament prophet that was sent by God to who? The Assyrians in Nineveh. That was the only prophet that God bothered to send anywhere, and he sent them to the Assyrians, not to yeah, but, the Arabs. But, but that creates a problem, doesn't it? Well, it yeah, does create a problem for Islam. Not for you. It Isaiah, create, the fact that there's no Isaiah prophets outside of Israel. Isaiah 42. No, he was an Israeli prophet that God sent to Nineveh. No, I mean, the fact that there's no non-Israelite prophets before Jesus came. So, even, even Jonah, even Jonah, are you one? Right, are we, are we letting these guys into the conversation? Fine. By the way, our conversation's gonna end now because these guys are gonna dominate.